We're all familiar with our base 10 numbering system. It's where we have 10 symbols that we use to represent quantities. Those symbols being 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We also know how to add, and we can start with 0 and add 1 to that, and that gives us 1. Add 1 more to that, that gives us 2. Add 1 more to that, that gives us 3. And here we're making changes in multiples of 1, and we call this the 1's place. That works until I try and add one more to 9. I don't have any more symbols, so we add a place. Now we have 10, and we call this the 10's place. So now I can add 10 plus 10, and that gives me 20. I can even add 1 to 20, and that gets me to 21. So now I can make changes multiples of 10 or multiples of 1. That works until I try and add one more to 99. Again, I don't have any more symbols, so we add another place. Now we have 100, and we call this place the hundreds place. Another way to consider these places is we are multiplying by powers of the base, the base here being 10. So 10 to the power of 0 is 1. That's the 1's place. 10 to the power of 1 is 10, so that's the 10's place. 10 to the power of 2 is 100, so that's the hundreds place. And 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000, and that's the thousands place. And I can continue this on out if I wish. So we take a number that we'd be familiar with, such as 215. This tells us that I have 2 in the hundreds place, so 2 times 100, 1 in the tens place, so 1 times 10, and 5 in the ones place, 5 times 1. We add together 200, 10, and 5, and we get 215. And that's our base 10, what we also know as the decimal system. There are other base systems that you're already using. Time, for example, is base 60, because there are 60 seconds in a minute, as well as 60 minutes in an hour. I could say a day is base 24, as we have 24 units, or hours, before we flip over to another day. A week is base 7, because we have 7 days in a week. A year could be base 12 if I wish to do it in months, or base 365 if I wish to do it in days. A circle is base 360, because there are 360 degrees in a circle. A foot in length, if I want to do inches, is base 12, because there are 12 inches to a foot. So those are some other base systems that you'd already be familiar with. What if we do a base 2 system? In other words, with base 2, I only have two symbols to represent quantities, 0 and 1. And again, we know how to add. So in base 2, if we begin with 0 and begin adding, I have 0, I add 1 to that, that gives me 1. I add 1 more to that, and, well, I don't have any more symbols. So we add a place, and I have 1, 0. I add 1 to that, that gives me 1, 1. I add 1 to 1, 1, and, again, I don't have any more symbols, so we add another place, and we have 1, 0, 0. I add 1 to that, and I get 1, 0, 1. Add 1 to that, that gives me 1, 1, 0. 1 to that gives me 1, 1, 1, and 1 to that would be 1, 0, 0, 0. So another way to look at these places is, again, we are multiplying by powers of the base. 2 to the power of 0 is 1, so that would be the 1's place. 2 to the power of 1 would be 2, so that's the 2's place. 2 to the power of 2 would be 4, so that'd be the 4's place. 2 to the power of 3 would be 8, and that's the 8's place. 2 to the power of 4 is 16, so that would be the 16's place. 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so that's the 32's place. 2 to the power of 6 is 64, that's the 64's place. 2 to the power of 7 is 128, so that's the 128's place. And 2 to the 8th is 256, so that's the 256's place. So now that we know what these places represent, Let's take these binary numbers here, these base 2 numbers, and let's convert these to something we would recognize in decimal. So for the first one, I just have 1 in the 1's place, so that would equal 1 in decimal. 1, 0, I have something in the 2's place, but nothing in the 1's place. 2 plus 0 would be 2. For 1, 1, I have something in the 2's place, something in the 1's place, 2 plus 1 is 3. For 1, 0, 0, I have something in the 4's place, nothing in the 2's place, nothing in the 1's place. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 would be 4. 1, 0, 1, I have something in the 4's place, nothing in the 2's place, something in the 1's place. 4 plus 0 plus 1 is 5. 1, 1, 0, 
I have something in the fours place, something in the twos place, nothing in the ones place. Four plus two plus zero is six. One, one, one. I have something in the fours place, something in the twos place, something in the ones place. Four plus two plus one would be seven. And finally, in this example, one, zero, 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 I have something in the eights place, nothing in the fours place, nothing in the twos place, nothing in the ones. So eight plus zero plus zero plus zero gives me a total of eight. So let's take that 215 in decimal and let's convert this to binary. So we have 215 for the first place here. 256 will not fit into 215, but 128 will. So I can put a 1 there to represent the 128's place. So I take 128 away from 215, the remainder is 87. Well, 64 fits into 87, so I can use a 64. Take 64 away from 87, that leaves me 23. Well, 32 will not fit into 23, so I would put a 0 in the 32's place. But 16 will fit, so I can put 1 in the 16's place. Take 16 away from 23, that gives me 7. Well, 8 is too large, so I can't use 8, but I can use 4. So take 4 away from 7, the remainder there is 3. So 2 will fit into 3, so I can use something in the 2. Take 2 away from 3, that leaves me 1. Take 1 away from 1, the remainder is 0, so that completes that. So 215 in base 10, or the decimal system, if we were to represent this in base 2 or binary, would be 1101. 0, 1, 1, 1. This is saying 128 plus 64 plus 0 plus 16 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 215 in decimal. If I were to take 99 in decimal and express that in binary, that would be 1100011. In other words, 64 plus 32 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 equals 99. So that's how we would convert back and forth from decimal and binary. So working in binary might make for a calculator with fewer buttons, but a bit more cumbersome. Let's take another number that you would be familiar with. 192.168.1.25. This is an IP version 4 address. And what we have with IP version 4, these are four 8-bit octets and we can convert these decimal numbers here into binary. We know what the places in binary represent, so we have that. So for the first octet here, the 192, 128 fits in to 192, so I can put a 1 there. Take 128 away from 192, the remainder is 64. So I can have something in the 64's place. 64 away from 64 is 0, so no remainder. So I can have zeros in the rest of these positions. The next one, the 168, again 128 will fit, so we'll have something in the 128's position. Take 128 away from 168, the remainder is 40. Okay, well 64 will not fit into 40, so I can't put anything there, but 32 will fit, so I can put something in the 32's position. Take 32 away from 40, the remainder is 8. Okay, well 16 is too large, but 8 fits into 8, doesn't it? So 8 away from 8, the remainder is 0, so I can have zeros in the remaining position. The third octet is simple, the only thing I have is 1. So in all of these other positions, I can have zeros except for the 1's position. And then we have 25. Well, let's see, 128 is too big, 64 is too big, 32 is too big, well, 16 will fit, so I can have something in the 16's position. Take 16 away from 25, that leaves 9. 8 will fit into 9, so we can put something in the 8's position. That leaves a remainder of 1, and again, 4 is too big, 2 is too big, but then we have 1. Take 1 away from 1, the remainder is 0, so we're done with that. So the 192.168.1.25, if we represented that in binary, would be 1100. 0, 0, 0, 0, dot one zero one zero one zero 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 dot zero 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 one dot zero 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 one one zero zero one and that's our decimal or base ten system as well as our binary base two system 
In our next segment, we'll do base 16, what we also know as hexadecimal.